How's it going everyone? In this video, we're going to be unboxing and doing a review on the Henkel's three-piece non-stick fry pan set. This specifically is the Capri Granidium, made in Italy. Currently, this is listing for $100 in store. There was a $20 rebate, so I got it for $80. In the description below, I'll also add the online link, which is listing for $105 currently with no rebate. The videos that are out on these are about four years old, and at the time they were talking about them, they said they got these for about $60, so we can see how inflation has raised the price up. Now, if you guys do come across these pans and they are Capri Granidium Notte, Notte is Italian for night. So you're going to notice these are a bit more of a gray color, whereas the Notte ones are going to be a bit darker, more of that dark charcoal. I decided to upgrade to these because it does have a more premium finish and I do like the build quality. If you notice, this is Faberware, your standard nonstick pans. They do scratch much easier. When the nonstick starts to scratch, usually we have to throw these out. Often it's recommended for your nonstick pans to be replaced about every six to 12 months. Starting off with the front marketing, made in Italy, non-stick granidium coating. I'll break this down shortly to explain what that means. This three-piece set comes with eight, 10, and 12-inch frying pans. And again, one of the benefits here, made in Italy, this isn't made in China like most pans. Features and benefits, feel free to pause here. This really stands out to me, which is safe to use with metal utensils. Now, just because it says it's safe to use with metal utensils, I still prefer a silicone or a wooden spatula if possible. Oven safe to 500 degrees because it's all aluminum finished. And keep in mind there's no mention of broiler or microwave here. It's good to use on gas, electric, halogen, and ceramic cooktops. No PFOA used to make this product. Again, that was banned, so I don't think they had much of a choice there, but they're going to sprinkle that into their marketing. Lastly, for the marketing, I'm gonna show you the features and benefits that they have here. Made of extremely pure aluminum. I think these are just adjectives. Aluminum is going to be aluminum ultra thick aluminum body. I'm sure that's going to help distribute the heat very well. And then here's a closer look at the handle. So what this handle does is because it minimizes the contact surface, it should have a nice cool handle so it doesn't distribute the heat from the pan directly. This specifically is what I wanna show you guys, the granidium, which is saying that it's mineral reinforced and metal safe. Understanding correctly, the granidium is a ceramic exterior with a non-stick interior. And that non-stick is still going to be a sort of Teflon finish to have that non-stick property for it. The granidium slash ceramic that they have here is just going to give more durability. And I think that's going to be the difference in comparison with the traditional nonstick pans I showed you. Those damage quicker because they don't have the minerals slash ceramics that go into it to have it be more durable. All right, now let's open this up. Okay, so right away, this 12 inch is about twice as heavy as the standard nonstick pan here. So I'm already really impressed with the build quality, feels very durable. I'm going to spend about 30 seconds on the marketing here. It says register and they will give you a gift, $15 or more in retail value if you leave a review. Next, the safety use and care instructions. Feel free to pause, screenshot, maybe you never got this. Let's take a closer look. Here I have the eight inch pan. We have somewhat of a coarse finish here, which is probably the minerals, that ceramic that's embedded into this pan. Appears that we have it all the way around the pan. Sounds quite dense. I like the build quality so far. These handles are ergonomic to the hand. Very nice to saute with. I'm gonna go wash these now and throw some eggs on them. I'm gonna hand wash these really quick and normally I would let them air dry on the dish rack. For the sake of the video, I'm going to hand dry them so I can use them quicker. Awesome, all right, what I'm gonna do is set this to medium low here. I'm gonna let it preheat. I'm gonna use the largest pan, the 12 inch size, and I'm gonna cook one egg at a time. Even though I'm only doing one egg at a time, I'm gonna use the largest pan to see how it evenly distributes the heat on this larger surface area. For the first egg, I'm going to put it on by itself. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper for seasoning. For the second egg, I'm gonna add some butter. 184, 197. 
and our center is right around 250. And again, this is medium low heat. So I'm gonna put the egg somewhere here just to see how it cooks. And because it is recommended low to medium heat, the flame doesn't really touch the outer edge as much to evenly heat it up as much. Looking here on the egg, it's starting to look pretty good. Let's go ahead and salt it up a little bit. Add some pepper. Let's see how it's doing here with the spatula. Not bad, it's still a little watery. So it does appear to be non-stick. I think the egg was sticking more to the spatula than anything, which is making it a little challenging to flip there. Let's take it out. Let's have a look at our first egg here. Awesome. Now let's see the difference when we use some butter. I'm gonna cook it on the other end over there. It is a little higher heat now, about 323. We can see there it's separating much nicer using butter. Let's add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. All right, let's go ahead and give this a flip. You can see there it's moving around much easier. Let's turn the heat off and this should be ready in about another three, five seconds. Put some of that butter on. Let's have our first cut here. Beautiful runny yolk. Those eggs were pretty good. Closing thoughts and my opinion on these pans. I'm really impressed with the build quality. The pans are much heavier than I thought they would be and they're quite dense. They feel premium and are easy to clean. Now, if you are gonna use Pam cooking spray and aerosols like that, which they don't recommend. In addition, if you are gonna use these pans on medium high or high heat, by all means, live your life. I don't think these pans are gonna break down anytime soon. The build quality is quite superb. And because these are purchased through Costco, you have a fantastic return policy. So if they're damaged two, three years from now, you can just return it, get your money back, no questions asked. And the reviews speak for themselves. These pans are listed at 4.8 out of five stars on Costco's website, and they have over 4,500 reviews. If you see these pans under the Zwilling or Ballerini name, it's also the same as Henkel's. It's all, they're all three, they're all the same company. Let me know what you guys think, what your experiences have been, if you like them or what your dislikes are. Have a great day, have a great evening, strike her out.